This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got two premium tanks to bring out for you guys with an honest first look and the first of which is the brand new Bog Horror aka the Mutant 6 with a green fuzzy carpet on it. <laughs> um, so look what can I say about a Mutant 6? It's a good tank. It really is. Um, the standard tank when it comes on sale is 7500 gold. So uh, I'll let you guys be the deciding factor on whether you guys want to pick it up for, I think it's 12500 right now. But it comes with 30 days of premium and a load of other things. So uh, that's up to you guys. I'll go ahead and give you the stats of the Mutant 6. I can't find any stats for the Boghor or the Panzer 58. So I'm just going to use their stock tank or stock premium tank counterparts. And if there's any changes, I'll maybe make a video once we get the stats for them. Uh, but right now, um, it's going to be a speed limit of 29 kilometers an hour, so not the fastest tank in the world. Of course, it is heavily armored. So you've got 191 in the front, and it's sloped slightly, so you're going to bounce quite a bit off the front of the tank. And uh, it's also got 229 millimeters of front turret armor. Um, so, again, not getting through there. It's an American heavy tank. It also has 10 degrees of gun depression, so you got to... Uh, you got to use it to its advantage. Now, the standard Mutant 6 gets 67% silver bonus and a 10% XP bonus. Whether this tank will get to keep those kind of stats is beyond me at this time. I don't find anything online that would say otherwise, and I made pretty, pretty decent silver in the entire time I was running it, so I would say it probably is the same. Now, the gun is a 105 millimeter gun. It's pretty, pretty solid. It'll do 320 alpha per shot, and it's just, it's a good, good gun. Uh, armor penetration, 198 millimeters with the standard round. That's, that's pretty good for a tier 8. Uh, 245 millimeters with the premium round if you want to go start shooting gold. Um, rate of fire, five, five rounds a minute. Nothing crazy. Aim time, not the greatest. Uh, 2.29 seconds. It's not the slowest, but it's not the greatest. And then the dispersion at 100 meters, 0.42, which is a little rough. But tier 8 with a 105, you can't really ask for too much. Now, moving on to the gameplay. As you can see, we're at the top of the hill. And uh, we're already using our gun depression as best we can. Going straight through in front of a uh, Tiger 1 is definitely going to be a problem. Or not, not a problem, sorry. Uh, the Patriot, on the other hand, on the other side, he's staying hull down, which means he's a problem for me and uh, not preferable. So as you can see, I auto-lock the side of a Tiger II from this close. Not even this thing can miss it. So not a problem. We get back in. We're aiming at the front of that uh, Tiger one. put another round on him, and we're just whittling these guys away. There's nothing they can really do about it. All they're going to do is look up, see my turret, and they're going to bounce off of me every single time. Uh, the excellent gun depression and good frontal armor of this thing is absolutely disgusting. You gotta watch when you're on the top of the hill like I am right now, because you'll be showing them your underbelly, and they can definitely pin that. And then we got the Tiger II right here, put around right through the side of them, 320, or 319, the Alpha's 320. It's pretty, pretty standard roll. So, uh, it's, it's not really a bad tank at all. And uh, the Mutant 6, I remember playing it way back in the day. It's a solid tank, it really is. There's not a whole lot out there you gotta really worry about. Um, the gun at times can be troll, but for the most part, it's a pretty solid performing gun. It's not the hardest hitting gun for a heavy tank, but it's not, you know, terrible either. Getting anywhere from 320 to over 400 at times. So uh, definitely, definitely decent. As you can see, we're picking this uh, Adler apart. <laughs> Uh, which isn't exactly a, uh, a good, or isn't exactly a hard feat. <laughs> Let's be honest. The Adler is a pretty bad tank. <laughs> it's got a small gun. It's got no real armor. It's not fast. I don't know if you guys remember me doing the Adler back in the day. Uh, that honest tank. Now watch this shot here. That looks like it should pin to me. Uh, I go through his track into his bottom plate. Do not pin it. Not sure what happened there, but. You know, we've done all right up to this point. We've got seven hits, four spotted targets hit, so we are we are spotting people. Now here's where I'm going to show you where I shoot at the. Uh, oh wait, I was going to shoot at his commander's hatch, but got distracted for a moment. He turns his gun sideways. Can we get it? No, he turns his armor right back the moment I go to shoot him. 
Uh, but again, bouncing the Adler all day long, no real problem. Now, here we go to shoot his commander's hatch, and we're going to whiff. Uh, well, I thought we were going to. I'm, just, I'm juking myself out here. Uh, we go to take the, the Adler down, and of course, he just happens to twitch, and we shoot the ground. Uh, the VK-100 is running. He's broadside on. Can we put it around in him? And yes, we can. 290, a little bit of a low roll. And uh, we're going to get reloaded, though. And unfortunately, they take him down. Now, here are the T-32s broadside on, so I just go ahead and push. There's not a whole lot that any of these guys can do to me, so I just roll in, I ram them. That's that's the bad thing about T-32. Even the Mutant 6 is heavier than you. So uh, we just roll up and, flick and, and force our wheel upon him. Now, this Adler, watch this shot here. This is what I'm talking about. Fully aimed in. I know my gun's broken, but really, game? Really? <laughs> um, but that being said, Mutant's a good tank. I'm not really crazy about the look of this tank, if I'm honest. I like green, don't get me wrong, but there's not any maps really for this. I mean, this is about as good a map as you're going to get for this color. And even then, this color is too light for this map. So uh, take it with a grain of salt. Would I buy the tank? Honestly, not for the price that it currently sits at. And as the Mutant 6 is essentially the same thing for 7,500 silver, um, maybe see if you're going to get a chance to buy that tank again uh, later this month. Anyway, so we end up with 3,000 damage, second on a team, not bad. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.